Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our stream. Hello. So, guys, uh, today we are going to model this AWM. Okay, or ROM. This sniper gun. Okay, everyone, part welcome to stream, bro. Hello, hello. Okay, so today we are going to model this thing. Okay. Okay, Martin, welcome to the stream. Hello, to us. thanks again for your uh, mega nice tutorials. Thanks, bro. Okay, Rithik, welcome to the stream, bro. Make some mad tutorials. Bro, actually, I am a beginner uh, for Maya. I don't know much about Maya, bro. So, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, let's do this, okay? So, I will save. Then, I'm going to freeze this. Go to object properties. So, it won't move in between our uh, modeling. Freeze it uncheck this box okay this one and okay see martin no please stay at 3ds max okay so guys everyone welcome to stream again so i am going to start with the okay first uh, we will cover the base mesh whole base mesh when i mean then we will start detailing the uh, sniper okay so i will start with this box right here i'm gonna start from here okay i will draw it from here to maybe around here okay pop next tutorial okay now i'm gonna press okay before that i need to move this here then change the material see i have already set up the this uh, blueprint right here okay you can just uh, use a normal material just a simple setup and add as uh, add the texture as this base base color okay here we applied this material okay thickness maybe we need around this so i'm going to press all text okay so we can okay you can see right So we can see through this mesh. See, if I press vertex one more time, you can see through it. I'm gonna change the material color to maybe black. Okay, still we can see right. Okay, anyway, never mind. little bit black okay this here we have this base uh base bo box right here i am going to convert this one to editable poly okay we have this um, i hope we have okay wait uh, what in your opinion the best uh, render for 3d smacks may be in cope with the unreal engine so that the outcome will look really i think v-ray is nice and uh, maybe also Ar arnold rendering the yeah, arnold is v-ray and arnold is the best i think so guys, I'm going to convert this one to editable poly. Okay, Makri, welcome to the stream. Then I will select this vertex. 
okay we are good here maybe we need to move this thing little up like this okay then we need to add one more edge around here right I think so yep maybe here then we have to move select this vertex and move it here okay right here okay okay now sam welcome to stream hey good video by the way what's the best software modeling architecture and building details blender 3d max and real unity bro 3d max and blender i'll say okay i'm going to save this then now we have to select this face then extrude okay before extruding okay imra i can just artist who doesn't start to learn and real will so on then from life lesson okay okay i'm going to add extra edge right here or we don't need uh, it we will extrude it first and we will check okay we need to change the value so we can type it in here okay nice i think it's crashed nope 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 okay something went wrong we need to extrude it right okay wait i need to save this that's what i think the psych physics engine okay i need to extrude one more time Nope, nope, nope. We need to go perspective, right? Why we can't? We press center. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we extrude this part. Okay. Then place it here. Or we need to wait. Let me see. We might need to move this vertex down like this. Or what? Wait. We need to add extra segments segment before extruding. Okay. Around here. Now we can extrude this face. But we don't need this one. I'm going to extrude one more time. Okay. I think I need to change my mouse. Okay, I'll do that. Now I'm going to move this vertex down here and maybe move this corner around. Maybe only this corner around here. Also, this one. like this okay yeah in build engine might be hard to learn i have been using okay you guys discuss it about it okay i'm gonna say copy 
guys don't forget to like share and subscribe we are building the base mesh then we will detail once we finish it so you have to extrude one more time for this maybe around here or here okay i'm gonna move this uh, here or here we will place it here okay then we will add one more segment right here so we can extrude it uh, to the top and to the bottom okay here we need to add a few more segment i'm going to add one here then if i move this vertex to here we can exam for it later okay. we'll place it here place this for now like this I'm going to select uh, these these words then we will chamfer it what okay I think something wrong with the max I need to restart okay guys hold on I need to restart the max If you already know of Rosemith, okay. Something in room is hold on. Okay. I think it's a mouse problem, guys. It's not the max problem. I'm pretty sure it's a mouse problem so we have to chamfer this uh, like this maybe with a few more segments okay before that we need to move this vertex a little more to the top like this okay then select the edges chamfer it like this okay and we can view and we can arrange all these lines i mean align okay we can align all these lines to look it okay something like this okay this curve so now hold on i need to save a copy <coughs> okay here we need to we need to extrude it here right so i'm going to select this face then i'm going to extrude to the top then move this uh, here also this vertex right here okay we need this curve right so we need to add one extra segment right here one right here maybe around here okay the line is perfect so don't worry then then we can move these three vertex like
can be these two like this and this um, maybe we don't need to do that we can just extrude okay so i'm going to select this this face okay hold on then extrude little bit here first okay okay wait actually we don't need to extrude this part i'm going to move this vertex right here then this one right here so we can uh, chamfer this part maybe later we need to add one more segment actually we need to add one more segment right here right so i'm going to add it here okay now we can move this part here or we can move this to the top like this okay so maybe align this line like this Okay, now we need to extrude the rest this face. I'm going to move this right here. Then I'm going to select this face, this one right here. Then I will extrude. And I will place it here. Select this vertex. We don't need. Actually, we need it. I'm going to move it right here. Hold on, or we can. Okay, wait. Align it right. Align it like this. Then we can add one extra segments segment in here right just like we did it here right so i'm going to place it here first then we will add this segment and move this vertex here Now we need to extrude one more time, maybe to place it here, maybe around here, and select the top face. We need to extrude this little part right here. Okay, and place it here. Or we can just wait, wait. Maybe we can just move this to the top like this. We don't need to add extra segment for that. Okay, then we can chamfer this, right? I'm going to place it here for now. And I'm going to select these edges, chamfer it, uh,
we don't move this to the top Okay. Okay, we'll keep this. I'll keep it like this for now, then we can adjust this vertex. Okay. So it will match with this reference. Okay, sometimes we need to adjust this chamfer thing manually. Okay. Again. We have two vertex uh, right here in this corner. We can move it, I will show you. I am going to select this edge and we will, okay. We will move it like this. Also, this one right here. Okay, like this. Actually, we don't need uh, this much lines. We can remove these if uh, if we want to because this is just uh, low poly. It will be fine once we add this. See, we still got this curve. So you can keep it. I'm gonna keep it or now. Also, we can move this vertex here and move this here, and we can place it here. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Okay. Okay, that's that went well, I think. Okay, we need to adjust a little bit here. Okay. If I press or set nope, or text. Turn like this for going to the perspective. I think we don't need this much uh, width, right? Okay, we can change it later. I change it now. Guys, we will undo this. Uh, I mean, reduce the width uh, later. Okay. Now we will. Save a copy. Okay, now we need to continue the extrusion through here. We will first go through here. Okay, then come down here. And we will do this uh, <coughs> handle part. I'm going to select this face. Okay, yeah, then <coughs> extrude it here first. Okay, then it's a text down. See, here is a uh, slope right here. We need to move down. Maybe also need to.
do we need to move this to the top We will keep it here and I'm going to move this right here and this one right here. Okay, see, we need to align this vertex uh, with this. There is a small shape, light detail in there, so we need to align it to this. So we like this. Then we will extrude one more time and place it here. Okay. Then we need to extrude. I'm going to place it here. Okay, to the last part here okay we can add all these things on later don't worry so i'm going to place it here maybe also we need to move this little to the top like this okay here we need to add on segment so we can extrude it down okay i'm going to save a multiple Oops. okay here i am going to add one segment hope it's here right or we need to add it Okay, it doesn't matter. V2 should be here. Maybe here. Yes, we need should be here. Okay. Around here. Now I'm going to select this face right here. Then we will extrude it down. Okay, and place it here. Then select this vertex and move it to see we we need to add a curve like thing right here. Okay, so I'm going to place it to, should be here, right here. I'm going to place it here. Okay. here and we need to add a few more segments one here another one here then select both of them and we can place it I mean align it right here okay And we need to add another segment right here so we can extrude these uh, rest of the parts from here we need to add one segment right here from here okay and we can align it in both ways i'm going to select it uh, and maybe x yes I'm going to place it here then I'm going to select a few faces okay okay we will extrude this uh, this area from here to here and you will select a few faces from here then we will connect to here okay Okay, we are almost getting there. We can change the this width later, I think. So I'm 
saving these files then i'm going to select this face this one so this one hope these are enough right okay so now if i extrude it do it like this so if I change it to local normal okay it will be fine right then we can move this vertex from right here okay gaming okay I gear written game okay we can just stream bro the, I hope that's a correct way to say it okay, we can connect this right now Where we extruded now we need to select the these faces again then scale it inside like this okay maybe like this maybe this much I check add this thing okay nice okay something like this okay nice now we need to add one another segment right here so we can connect these faces go go galvanic inferno bro don't spam bro okay i'm going to uh, delete these faces then i'm gonna build these together okay on here okay 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 another one here I am like go bro don't spam bro I have to I am can okay okay bro don't spam it okay okay we need to move this vertex maybe to the top Okay, so hold on. Is mouse doing some weird things? Okay. So we need to move this vertex to the top. Okay, maybe around here. Bro, I gave him time time out him more. Don't worry. Okay, something like this. Okay. Now we can extrude it. Start extruding from here. See this curve. Okay, then we will connect these together. Then we will extrude inside. Okay, 
I'm going to save a copy. Okay, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and sub if you are new here. Okay. I'm going to save it one more time. Then we will add one segment. Another segment right here. Okay, or here. I think here is fine. Then I'm going to select this face. And we will extrude it from here to here first. Okay, this thing, this handle. Okay. Maybe we need to select this face also. Then we will extrude both of them like this first. Okay, here. Okay. And we need to continue this extrusion. I'm going to place on here. Then we will add these extra segments if we need. It should be like uh, like this, right? Okay. Okay, we need to add a couple of one maybe here. Another one must be here. So one here. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna move this. Here, fine. Okay, we will extrude this uh, trigger part from last. Okay, don't need to do it now. This one here. A you can also add maybe one more segment in the center. Okay. Now we can store this little part. Around here, maybe. Like this. Okay. Now it's uh, again looks like some okay it's not look like a gun now okay we will detail once we finish the base model don't worry i'm gonna save a copy okay now we can connect these parts together i'm gonna extrude through here okay like this like this okay i'm gonna select these faces can you modeling what okay can you model 
difficult chair bad also for next time okay bro i can do that smart okay i'm going to extrude it place it here first then we will add these segments like last time guys don't forget to like share and sub we are now here don't forget to do that two segments one okay it look right okay one here maybe another one here okay only design welcome to stream from uzbekistan okay nice to see you bro so move this vertex like this okay mr miss okay i don't know crafts i'm gonna call it crafts now okay thanks for the discussion okay we have this extrusion done okay now we can connect this we will add this gap later i'm gonna look to this vertex okay i'm gonna we have these two faces here right i think we might need to to this okay i hope the rights okay i'm gonna select these in these faces if i bridge it will be like this i'm gonna add one more segment one segment in this bridge now we can adjust the vertex manually okay next tutorial so far clown purity welcome to stream I'm gonna save it. We have this car right here. I think it's fine. I'm gonna move this, move these three vertex. Not three actually. It's uh, six. Okay, three on the other side. I'm gonna move this to the this gap right here. Okay, then maybe we can we can make a make it like a curve okay see this car right here we can follow it okay like this and maybe we can move this one to the top i think we need to uh, no no we don't need to add extra segment maybe we need to move this to the top like this
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Wait, fatigue. Oke. Okay. Thanks for the discussion, bro. It's not fatigue, right? Oke, ini dia yang mana. Yeah, is something like this. We made it here. Okay, hold on. I need to check this. Okay, we need to extrude this extrude to inside. Okay. Mm. Okay, hold on. I need a rectangle. Yeah. Okay, any new modeling tools in Redis Max 22 or 20? Yes, they changed this uh, chamfering. Did you write? Yes. And this cut tool, I think. Then a few other tools, I don't remember. Say multiple time. Then we will extrude inside. Select these faces. Hold on control. Okay, then double click. Like this. Uh, maybe we don't need. Okay, maybe we need. I'm gonna extrude it. Mm, local, normal, okay. Maybe around. Okay, I'm gonna extrude it here no we can um, place it here for now then i'm going to place it I arrange all this vertex manually like this okay This so we, we can match it with the reference. Just align your uh, not yours, L align all the vertex like we see in our reference. Okay. Here, maybe we need to move it. Okay, let's hold on.
Uh, sorry guys, that's uh, why I'm here. No sound. So we uh, just scale down this to the inside uh, like this. You hope you guys see it. Okay. Then I added one more segments here. Okay, hey bro, do you know any sites to download game engine like World of Warcraft engine of Frostbite? Uh, bro, I don't think you can download Frostbite or anything. Okay, or are these tools so it's uh, unavailable? You can't download Frostbite and everything. I like all your rage modeling tutorials. Thanks, bro. Your tea, Sam. Sam, I think I don't think we can download all these tools only bro they are actually they are company properties i say so i'm going to we finished it here okay i'm going to extrude this part select this uh face maybe we can okay no nope. insert little bit this maybe it's not open source bro you, we can't download the engines i think we can access cry engine unreal engine and unity i don't think there are other <coughs> free engines we can use it actually unreal engine was um uh, yes yeah, subscription based thing first time i think it was around 19 dollar per month it was actually then they gave it for free for everyone guys we extruded here now we have to extrude one more time to this face okay i can't read your name what is here okay bro thanks for joining the stream sorry i can read it okay maybe we need to add a segment right here okay then we can move it here okay that was the basic uh okay we need to model this okay just a basic mesh i mean the base part of the i mean uh sniper okay i think we need to change the width okay or oh, we will model this part then we will change the size a little bit so now Now we need to select these faces. Okay, these. Then we need to extrude to the back. Okay, like this. I'm gonna extrude it. Okay, before extruding, we need to. Wait, check. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Maybe in group. Okay, like this. So we need to align this to Y direction. Nope. X. Okay. X direction. Okay. Okay, we extruded. I'm gonna place it here. Then we will extrude one more time. Should be around here. Okay, uh, Nikki, welcome to the stream, bro. I'm gonna move this vertex here. Maybe also we need to everything down a little bit like this 
Okay, and then we need to align all these vertex to match with the reference. Okay. Maybe like a curve, we can. Okay, now we need to add, sorry, I mean, extrude to the top. I'm going to select these faces. Extrude to the top like this. Then move it to the top, okay. Here. Here and I'm gonna move this like here. We need to add one more segment, okay? Nope, right there. Here, okay. So we can okay, we need to place it here. Okay, we will add this part later. So the base mesh. So, so we, I think we need to. We want to press all text. Go to the perspective view. Isolate the mesh. Then we need to change this size, right? I'm gonna save a copy first. So if anything goes wrong, we don't need to worry about. Anything. Okay, I'm going to select this, or you can just press R, okay, W, E, R, like that. Then we will select this Y direction and maybe hold and drag, okay, maybe here. Maybe this much. Okay, I will add this turbo smooth to check the final size. I think it's better. Okay, see, we have this uh, oval or round shape. I think that's fine. So now we need to model the rest of the parts. I am going to press Alt X go to front view. Okay, now I am going to model this mag. Do you think it's possible to get a career as level design author to colleague or university? Yes, bro. Let's make a profile with your level design and everything. Okay, I mean the portfolio. Show it to everyone. Make it something. Make something cool design, level design, you know. Then um, apply it to that portfolio. If they like it, you are in. Okay, I'm going to model this box. Okay, and then for that. I need to reset the PC maybe this mouse is killing it so I'm going to create this box right here apply this material all text to see through okay convert to virtual poly uh, move this text to a little bit like this it's just a simple box okay we don't need to add anything else i'm going to move this right here okay okay right here
okay maybe we need to move this to here a little bit match with the other side okay and then like this guys do you ever take your models into sea brush and waste bro i did i did actually most of the times time yes make portfolio is good ready yes okay so we have this mag right here now we have to model this barrel in the scope okay then we will detail this gun to make it look like a look more like a gun okay i'm going to uh, hide this for now we need to see the size of this barrel i'm going to use the cylinder and i'm going to start from here okay then change the material uh, rotate to make the 45 degree okay like this all text to see through we don't need this all these height segments i'm gonna move, remove it so reduce the size according to the map i mean the reference and I'm going to move this uh, like this. Okay, maybe we need to raise the size a little bit more. See, we can add details here but now i'm just uh, modeling the base mesh okay we will place it there i downloaded blender unity and religion but i don't know which one to learn first your choice bro i actually got maya and 3ds max first then i actually started 3ds max first i didn't like 3ds max first time then i uh, tried maya uh, made a few things then i don't know why i returned return back to max started learning these max like that okay i'm going to uh, convert this one to editable poly before that i need to make a copy hide this for now we don't need it i'm just uh, saving as a backup okay then editable poly I don't like modeling small objects, but I like to make maps. I like mapping and hate modeling boss. Okay, I'm going to select this vertex and to here maybe. Yeah, I'm going to move it to here, okay. around here and to check this reference okay guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and by the way you can you guys can join the discord and discuss
all these things I will be available most of the time in this code okay you can message me if you want okay here I think to okay we need to extrude it a little bit here right okay i'm going to place this here this cylinder here okay then we will create on boards for this area from maybe around here change the material then small text Basically, bro, reply me. I need to the stream, bro. Thanks for joining. Sam, I don't know how you find the patience to do small modeling like this. Yeah, bro, actually, I don't like to uh, model small things. I just wanted to show you guys. That's why I'm doing this, okay? So here I'm gonna move these then increase the okay no height a little bit okay like this okay it should be should match with this I think the base mesh so we need to move this here okay I think should be small okay cylinder is fine I think Okay, I think we need to increase the uh, size of base mesh back, right? Yep, we need to change the size a little bit. Maybe one more time, and we need to change the size of this mesh. Okay, I'm going to convert this one to editable poly. Go to front view, insert it, alt text. and move this vertex here and decrease this width and height okay then we need to add a few segments for this mesh i'm going to select then bring it we'll add two segments Okay, then increase the gap between between them. Select these vertex, then move it down like this. Okay, same goes for the bottom part like this. Okay, then I will place it here. Maybe hold on, select everything. Let's move this down. Okay, this thing is in air, right? Half of the part is in air. Okay.
it's okay I need to check the size of this cylinder and this one okay there is still gap we don't need to worry okay okay now we have this mesh okay I think we still need to uh, increase the size of this mesh okay it will be fine once we chamfer and apply this turbo smooth yes okay we our scat software files easily compatible with the program such as Flanderer. i don't know bro clown curtain okay you guys discussed about it bro don't spam again bro you spam it again this will be the last turning okay Okay, we need to insert this uh, face a little bit then move it to the back say like this okay I don't know much about this shape so now to go to the front view Control A, Alt X, then we don't need this part. Delete this. I'm going to save a copy. Now we are going to model the scope. Okay. Once we finish with the scope, we will start detailing everything. Okay, I think we need to hide this part. Maybe also this. Okay, we need to add something in this barrel, okay? So, okay, don't look at this shape, guys. Uh, it doesn't match with. Okay, we need to add a uh, something in here I will show you for this uh, scope okay I am going to create a box okay maybe around this height okay okay wait delete it thing yes actually we need to create around here okay apply this uh, material sam okay uh, for modeling just you need to know max or my instance okay yes thing it's a plus bro if you know all the all that software it's a plus you will get hired faster maybe okay we need to change the height a little bit okay like this okay then can maybe place this here okay then I'm going to save it to front view we'll place it here then I'm going to convert this one editable poly add a few one I mean two segments in here another one here okay then I'm going to select these edges then we have to add few segments connections like this okay maybe 20 okay then i will 
select all these faces I'm going to select all this first, maybe also this. I should, uh, okay, it's my bad. Then now I need to insert by polygon. Okay, then, okay, wait, hold on. I think we need only to select this. Select all this first, then insert it like this. Then extrude it. Okay. And here. Okay. Then we have to scale it down like this. Maybe we need to scale this area. Okay, it will hold us. Uh, I think it's 8x scope. Now I'm going to select all these faces, extrude it, uh, place it here. Then we need to scale it down. Scale down these sides. Okay. Maybe we need to increase the height a little bit. So it won't, the scope won't go further. Okay. It will only stay in between these small areas. So I need to change the size maybe. And move it. select this part. I mean, this part at the front view. First, we need to place it here, and then select the face. Then we need to scale it down these sides. Okay, like this maybe. Or maybe undo it. We can just place it here. Okay, we don't need to. We don't need to match this one the reference okay okay now we need to model this thing right i'm going to save this as a copy okay there's some discussing the member i'm able to make semi realistic uh, realistic environment in our deal now using the more mark Get place assets so I am eligible for job as a minimatic store. What more skill software is compulsory? Will to make same using the marketplace assets? Yes, bro, you should uh, uh, any kit, right? Uh, bro, you should uh, apply somewhere with your portfolio. So they will hire you. Maybe there will be some tests before you enter the company. So, guys, we are going to make the cylinder, I mean, the scope, with the cylinder first. Draw it from here, rotate to this side, change the material. is the size here all text to see through 
like as bro you have to make a portfolio first then you from india right you should try some god sorry game developing companies if they like your portfolio and resume they will contact you okay now select this face may also this face and extrude okay i'm going to type mod and we need to place it around here okay then we need to scale it down both sides like this okay maybe to scale a little bit up clown broker yes for big companies or yes. so they still require physical participation what bro no you uh, you must be you have to be uh, communicative something like that then they will ask for some qualification but not for some physical thing okay so guys we exploded this now i'm going to select all big studios are letting everyone work remotely as for uh, this scenario i mean the corona thing most of the companies let you work remotely okay i need to go back one more time i need to extrude it a scope might be uh little, little bit different from our reference okay this yes then we should list the price here okay run where we need to we can chamfer a letter okay i'm going to select this side then extrude it here first then little bit more for here then one more time for here then we will uh, scale it down like here then we will Extrude it here. Also, one more time for here. Another one here, right? We can add something in here, right? Okay. Now I'm going to extrude to here. One more time for here. Another solution here. so many extrusion one more here this time we need to place it here then we need to scale this thing like this okay i am asking because because i would be interested in working for some us companies but i live in canada okay okay bro i think Uh, if you are not looking for some remote jobs i mean work from home thing you can you have to move to us okay or else you can try companies uh, in canada 
okay i'm going to extrude one more time here then convert the selection guys this is the uh, basic part of the scope okay we just convert the selection then change for it little bit go to this segment okay okay here we need to extrude right i'm going to extrude it a little bit bevel feet to kar sakte hai yes bro i'm going to do it last okay first we need the basic oh you mean the x okay but i like this way Uh, you can um, bevel manually like this i'll show you see you can bevel it like this or you can just go directly to use the bevel i will show you <laughs> Shit. Okay, I need to save it. Uh, we have to we can extrude it here, right? I don't think we can. Hold on, I need to check the. Yeah, we need to extrude it here. Actually, we don't need to extrude. We can create a new shape. Uh, Samira and welcome to stream. Thanks for joining the stream. Call me sir, okay. Is modeling is necessary for environment artists? Yes, bro, it's necessary. I know modeling is private only. Yes, bro, it's necessary. Or run in memories. Or you can just you can be a um, uh, level designer, so you don't uh, you don't still but still need to you still uh, need to know the basics. I think for the. for this uh, level designing but it does uh, good as an environment artist so you can try level de as a level designer okay see so guys we just made another this box shape for our scope okay so we need to change the size here okay now we need to extrude these faces this like this okay or we can just type one Okay, like this. One more time in text root, then move it to the top. Maybe we need to extrude one more time. Okay, it's just a simple shape. I'll show you. I'm going to move this scope inside this thing. This thing, okay. See, the size won't match, so we need to do something like I'll show you. I'm going to 
to the front view. Fix and select this edge. Then we will connect with extra segment, right? Okay. I know modeling, but just I want to work in real only. Yes, so you can uh, try this freelancer, I mean, sorry, level designer thing. If you don't want to, if you don't want to be, let's say, something like this uh, environment artist, you can be a devil, sorry, level designer, or you can be a programmer instead of real engine. Sir, what is polygon smoothing groups? Okay. We'll show you some quick thing. Okay. You see this? You see this face? I'm going to select all these faces. Okay. Then if I clear all. See these hard edges. Okay, we can hide these hard edges with this uh, smoothing groups. I select all this again, then come here. This polygon smoothing groups. I am going to press this auto smooth. Okay, see these edges we have we have still hard edges here doesn't matter but we can see more of them in this center okay like this i will show you one more time if i select all this we have this edges in the center i mean this one this right here if i clear it and auto smooth it it will be gone Let's see Okay, I may read a character of this in the for the game. Okay, nice bro. Which company you're working? So guys, we just increase the size of this thing and we need to select these edges, then move it a little bit like this. Also, maybe in these edges, okay, like this. And if you want, we can same for these, like this. Okay, wait, hold on. We need to move these little bit further. These two also then okay, maybe this then select these edges turn for it okay it will be like this we don't need three segments okay we need two no the scope is attached to this part. I'm going to alt the salt text. Then we need to move this down a little bit, or we can just extrude it. Okay, very affordable. Have a great stream. Emir Khan, welcome to the stream, bro. After applying smoothing groups, so we don't have to apply it our smooth or nums. Yes, if you want. You can add the turbo smooth, but make sure you have hold these edges like this. I will show you. And to select this, once you apply the smoothing loops, uh, select this edge, then you can chamfer it, okay? Like uh, maybe this with the own extra segment. Okay, then if you apply turbo smooth, see this one actually for high polys. If you are making 
Probably you don't need to hold these edges or add the, this turbo smooth thing. But if you are using the high poly, it will be better to use. You see, you can't see the hard edges anymore. Okay. Bro, I recently did an M4A1 work on our station. Would you say, okay, bro, uh, if you stay here until uh, the three minutes, I think we almost done. We will check it, bro, Emihan, okay? I was working with your videos in YouTube, okay? Oh, nice to know. My hotkeys are very important, bro, yes. Okay, so guys, I need to attach this scope to the bottom scope and this everything to the bottom part. So I'm going to say add on more edge right here. Then we will select these faces. Then next to it like this. Okay, so I mean, okay. Then one more time in text folder. Then select these faces. Okay, hold on. We need to extrude a little bit more. Then select these faces. Okay. Like this. Uh, actually, I'm using hotkeys to move around the move around the max okay so we have this uh, extrusion right here so now okay hold on need to change this size a little bit okay so i'm going to select this and place it here also here <coughs> and soon actually I was planning to model M4 first then I was like a we already modeled a came right last time. I thought we should make something different. Should be here, must be here, okay. And we should move this here maybe. And we can move it here. So it will move along this uh, axis, okay? I mean the scope, it will move around this thing, I hope so. So, we have the scope and everything. Okay, now you can make a whole letter, okay? It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to select everything uh, head all. Go to the front view. Everything all text. You know, our scope is almost done. This thing right here, you'll see it later anyway. But <coughs> now we need to create this trigger, okay? I'm going to save a copy. Make him for next video. Okay, but I will try. Save a copy. Yes. Okay, I want to learn you know, in your last more advanced modeling. Like, okay, bro, I think you should um, join our live streams. Okay. Delete half of the model and use it to mirror to yes for I'm going to we don't need to do that okay we already made for both sides why don't you directly symmetry yes bro I 
I was actually using symmetry never last string so many times so I thought it will make I should make some changes okay I'm waiting for it to tell then thing okay bro okay bro I will okay stay I mean stay with the stream we will check your portfolio later okay we need to create this trigger right here I'm going to select the polygon okay like this one may I share now I think you will I think I will lost the link because all these comments okay you right you can share it later okay or you can share now if I feel I don't know okay you can share it now bro SVX is extruded. So you have to place move this vertex right here. Okay. Okay. Then we will continue the extrusion like from here. Guys, I think we almost finished it, right? Maybe we should add something here or this one. Wait, I'm not going to model this, okay? Maybe we should try this. Yes, okay, we need to continue the extrusion. Yes, I am not gonna um, going to uh, I mean detail everything. Okay. You will just make it look like a AWM, okay? This takes so much time. So here we can continue the extrusion. I'm going to place it here. Great. Here then now we can connect these together. I'll show you. I'm going to select this edge. Then if I chamfer with the zero segments okay like this I'm going to bridge it like this we need to use substance 3d paint for testing okay Yes, bro, you should use substance so the PBR and everything it will look so much better inside substance painter. Okay, even if you want to export inside Unreal Engine, it will be better if you use substance painter. Other programs which use uh, physically based rendering that's the full form okay if you guys don't know so we can just create this trigger part now we need to let's see okay size a little bit like this that's it now we need to create the exact trigger uh, maybe we can create a box <coughs> sorry create a box or 
okay or you can just create a spline okay nice okay like i'll show you i don't think yes not like this i need to do it again okay then we can rinse it man align it manually um enabling viewport and change it to cylinder okay uh, change the size change the material we have this but um trigger okay we need to Uh, this trigger i'm going to convert this into editable body or before that we can remove few edges like this okay if you want okay now we can convert to editable body thank you testy guys let's build a discord group huh what do we have yes bro you can join our discord i'm going to move this one right here bro discord link is in the description i think you can join also guys don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are new here We need to arrange all this vertex to make this make it look like a trigger. and we need to change the size like this and we can waste the bottom so I mean top part like this maybe okay now that's our trigger okay um what about a nice or uh, sign join thank you thank you okay did he share the link okay i will check later okay so guys uh, we need to add few more things in this render okay i mean this part i'm going to add it later finally so now i'm going to model this thing right here okay like like a symbol box change the material uh cobalt thanks for the description bro and place it here with the this much height maybe irritable converted to body takes i mean this it
Okay, we don't need to place. We move this. Okay, now we need to select these edges. Then maybe also this. We need to chamfer like this. Okay. And uh, recently I'm trying to learn the emotion if you lay side the grip wrapping with using it. But as you said I need to use it more, I have to better know around it. Such a wonderful program for details. You guys discuss it. Okay. So now I need to add this. I can see maybe. Okay, I'm going to place it here. Then I will add two segments. Okay. Then I'm going to delete. Nope. I have to add one more segment right here. Now we can delete it. Then we will connect this edges. Uh, connect right or bridge. Yes. Shit. Okay, like this. Okay, that's it. Now here in this uh, barrel, we need to a couple of things then we will start detailing okay it's almost finished so we need to add a few segments first one here another one here and on here on here now we need to select a few faces Okay, then insert little bit. You guys are discussing yourselves, right? Okay, do it with this. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Don't forget to like, share, and sub. Okay, so here we need to insert little bit then extrude inside like <coughs> uh, this like this maybe okay then insert one more time little bit then Okay, we will start adding the details from here. Okay, I am going to hold these edges. Okay, that's it for that part. Same thing for here. Uh, insert it and uh, extrude inside. Nice, uh, like this, and set one more time. Select these edges and maybe I like this. Then go to front view perspective and I select the cylinder. 
note we need to add one more detail in the center i'm going to add one more segments okay okay here okay and i select the cylinder i mean the barrel then maybe we should add one more uh, it's right here I will thank you guys open says welcome back come into you so yes. okay clown okay bro how much uh, what was the rate bro for our comments okay I'm going to select a few faces from the sides and the top okay then if I insert Okay, like this and extrude. Okay, I'll show you the end results. See, this will it will be like this once we are apply turbo smooth. Okay, view. You can move these edges. like this okay now i think we almost finished guys uh i'm going to isolate sorry unhide selected i mean hide and selected vortex okay so now we need to arrange everything manually it's I'm going to place this cylinder right here. Okay, some these shapes I don't know. Okay, it doesn't matter these shapes. Okay, now. Okay, maybe. Need to. Move this down like this, and this scope and everything. Okay, now we can start detailing. Okay, hold on. Yes, we can start detailing, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna save a copy. We will start with the body, okay? Okay, here we need to select these edges. Uh, so this one, I don't think we need to select do for both sides. We will uh, use symmetry, okay? Okay, before that, okay, wait, wait. Let's select this, then we need to chamfer it. The these segments, maybe. One more time, to try. Like this. Also, maybe we need to do this bottom part. I think it. See, so you don't need to. You don't need to do this part. Okay, we'll continue to this bottom. I'm going to remove these unwanted um, edges. Then we will select this face, all face, okay. I mean, this face, okay. Hold on, I need to select everything manually.
uh, we can bevel it see this surface i don't like this let's say uh, i like extrusion you can adjust this uh i mean adjust once we bevel it but i don't like it okay we'll place it here now we will have to target build some of these things see we have these gaps here and to delete this one say bro is the current state of model in f4 look as for this one is actually low poly okay okay we need to build everything together by icon because we have this polygon inside we can build everything maybe not here okay we need to chamfer this part also it Okay, like this, and remove all these unwanted edges. Okay, I'm going to next nice you. Okay, see you. Should we start making the high poly on this model cell for creative copy and work on it? Yeah, if you are, uh, you have, if you are baking the textures, uh, I will say just uh, duplicate the model, then start making the high poly, okay? If you are not, just see which. So here we need to select these uh, edges or we can just add this extra edge, we don't need to change for everything, okay, and another edge right in this uh, circle okay if we apply this turbo smooth to check it there we uh, yep, yep, nice right we need to more time see this was the shape we just made okay these little curves and everything Okay, now maybe we need to add one more in this side. If we check now. Okay. Nice, right? Right, okay. now we need to hold on check something okay you need to hold the top side okay and do save it and we can either we can add extra edge like this or we can just stand for i'm gonna add this extra edge okay that will be C thing on here, another one maybe here. If I apply this 
Barbo smooth. Okay, nice. Okay, here uh, we need to jump for this part. Okay, this part or the top part. I think it's a top part. With okay, hold on. We need to move these like move it. Yep, we need to move it like this. Okay. We're going to chamfer it. Not much. I'm going to place it like this. Then I'm going to move this back to the top. Okay, I'll go to the front view again. I have to add a little bit in detail in here. I'm going to select these edges, align it like, like this, and move one vertex to here and undo it. I'm going to select these together. Then we will move it here, okay. Now I'm going to select this face. Uh, insert. I'm going to move this to the back like this. We can extrude inside a little bit. Like this. If I apply it or first move, or first move, you need to hold these edges also. Stamp for it. like this you need to move this vertex manually to here okay we need to chamfer this edge also okay Can I see the error? This happens sometimes if we when we apply this chamfer thing. But uh, word I think we need to insert the parts. I mean the faces. Little bit. Take this, okay. Yeah. <coughs> Still not working. So I'm going to undo it. We will add extra segment, okay, like we did earlier. I'm going to add this extra segment for this one on here and we can't do anything it here so I think we'll see or we can just let me see add one here or wait we can actually 
select these edges then connect right and we can move this uh, vertex be like this like this okay okay it's not good at the other side we can add a symmetry okay doesn't matter uh we need to add angular so um, this part maybe here and one in this trigger part okay be careful adding these extra edges uh, your gun shape might go <coughs> i'm looking weird okay in the end be careful that see something like this you can see it right see this shape you can just remove the extra edges in here okay i will show you please make a video on car modeling okay bro i'll try bro okay thanks for joining the stream bro okay what's your name okay i don't think i can read it okay we don't need these segments here fine we don't say it's gone on the other side we will add a symmetry okay nothing matters matter so here i think we will leave it like this maybe hey bolu no no one hey bro welcome back to stream i'm fine bro Okay, we need to insert this part. Okay. Then same a little bit here. Okay, this happens when we change it. I think we need to try a different method for chamfering. Okay, I'm gonna undo it, guys. I have my mouse like. Okay, I need to kind of chamfer it. we need to add something here either we can chamfer it or we can add this extra line here okay i'm going to add this extra line because mouse my mouse acting weird so i need to okay you can connect these uh, okay to insert a little bit your freelancer uh, goes to the screen as for i am freelancer so our basic shapes almost ready so i'm going to delete this turbo smooth okay we will uh play it 
every part later okay so this is a mag so i'm going to convert the selection to box and same for it okay then we can if you want we can add two extra segments okay and then 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 can chamfer the segments with the like this then select all these faces insert a little bit then next row okay next row one next row two inside Bro, it's okay. Uh, okay, go. Sorry, for this. can you say any word for it? Instruction? Okay, is it okay if you have triangles in your model? Bro, it's actually all fine if you have triangles in your model, but make sure you don't have any uh, TC recorder, end guns. I mean, uh, face with more than. Five right, yes, five edges or five vertex. I mean, with extra uh, more than four edges. Okay, triangles are actually fine if you are you export something from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine, it will. Uh, automatically you will get some triangles so it doesn't matter if you have triangles okay don't worry about triangles okay freelancer you can say it's a good freelance website bro you can actually i think you can start those cute cg trader and hum 3d i think yes you can go for all these options also, you can sell inside art station. Okay. Guys, I'm going to select all these edges. Jam for it like this. Okay. delete this face we don't need it uh, we already face applied okay here i think we need to explode one more time uh, explode first little bit then Select all these faces. Okay, start selecting. Okay, now I mouse. Yeah, no. Do it. Make it like this, and we can select a few faces from the sides. I hope it's.
again extrude it to the side okay like this and again align to the side like uh, x direction okay and the other side then insert little bit you can explore inside then select this edge you can change for all this area so it will be Fine on CR this turbo smooth and ring it connect. Like this, okay. Maybe a few sequence here. okay that's it for our barrel for now we need to I'm going to attach these two together okay and maybe this one okay the scope guys don't forget to like uh, what happens if we haven't gone just uh, remove it bro try to remove it uh yeah it's it won't be good actually you can't animate the models if you have you can animate it but it will be hard okay so uh, token work in the stream bro any new okay mbz thanks for joining the stream okay okay everyone thanks for joining the stream don't forget to like share and subscribe so in the scope we need to add a couple of details we need to store this little bit here first then bevel it ah, nice Okay, hold on. I need to change. Okay, I'm not going to be able it. I'm going to extrude it. Okay. Uh, okay, before extruding, I think I need to insert a little bit then we can move this here okay then invert the selection i mean convert the selection to edge then chamfer it like this okay I'm going to hold these edges maybe also these edges all these edges actually we need to hold ok I'm going to select everything <coughs> uh, this one also uh, 
and we need to do the same thing for the scope convert the selection to edge or down edge okay i mean control okay then same for to select all these edges then hold these edges a little bit like this okay i just want to write skews i just wanted to write to skews that i say yes. sniper of the stream bro okay we have to do this for this mesh then i'm going to add uh, these extra edges okay manually same for this part Yes. Mm -hmm. Charge this this track or, or whatever it is. I'm going to select every edges like this then we will connect with multiple segments it's okay then this edges also mm, i think that's it right I'm going to check with this turbo smooth, okay. I'm going to keep it like this. We can still add this. I will show you. I'm going to select these edges, then connect it, okay. You can still do that for the rest of the parts, okay. Okay, nice, okay. I'll delete it. Uh, gira, 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 gira. You can add a different material if you want with this. Yes. Okay, I need to That's it. Okay, I can add this black material for this glass and scope or scope. Finish. I think okay. We need to do. Okay, I'm going to add extra uh, segments. Okay, not going to change for this time. Also, like this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to save a copy maybe multiple times. Guys, nice, don't forget to like share what happens. Okay. That's an old comment, right? Okay.
can change the material if you want to uh, green maybe also you can change to black for the scope and everything okay we might lose the glass material okay anyway We need to still need to add a symmetry for the other side, okay? Uh, you know. Then, then that's it, right? Can still add a few more details, uh, okay? Okay, make it with the dragon law skin. Okay, nice. That's your useful view. Before me, it's high poly, bro. We have to make it make a low poly from this one. Okay. Okay, I think we need to. We add this. Turbo smooth for every okay. This side we need to add a uh, symmetry, right? Restart the smooth to change the width a little bit. Okay, turbo smooth slow. I think Okay, yeah, this will be the end right. Okay. okay, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, I'll delete this one. Uh, group it. I do. Then change to a white material. So you have a turbo for both of them, so like this. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Nice work, man. Thanks, bro. Okay, she will come to stream that you'll come Okay, this model has been a video. I just like to know why things I don't know.
about four games. What's the difference between mid smooth and turbo smooth? Okay, we'll check it. Okay, I'm gonna play mid smooth. It will be around here. Okay, it's actually names you can. Okay, we still need to do something. Okay, doesn't matter. These are actually names. Okay, you can see if we, we have some name right here. If I click it, you can actually edit with this uh, final results. But unlike this turbo smooth, it will be uh, you can do it faster, I think. See, if you want to edit to the mesh with the final results, uh, use the use this mesh smooth, okay? Don't uh, use this turbo smooth. And you can also activate uh, it by. I'll show you and give this one. Select the mesh. Okay, maybe this one. Okay, you can add it from here. Okay, this uh, use nums. To show you the uh, final results of your mesh, how it will look exactly uh, once you apply the mesh smooth okay, you can enable it so you can also isolate display we have something we have actually a cage right here you can see we have actually a cage uh, this one right here you can use this cage like this You can see the end results that uh, mm, this mesh smooth advantage, or you can just wait until you finish your model. Apply this turbo smooth only, but I won't recommend using this mesh smooth because your uh, PC is gonna. Right. I mean the you not know, the PC the Max is gonna crash or something. Your uh, PC spec is uh, really low. Okay. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay. Okay, uh, there was someone in the chat, right? Amir Khan, if you, uh, bro, if you're here, are you here? Again, check your portfolio, like you said earlier. Guys, I'm gonna upload these files to drive, okay, so you guys can. How to interrupt this? Okay, just uh, delete this turbo smooth. Okay, then you can. I'll show you the polygon ground. See, this is only 6k, right? I delete this one. 
see this is only 6k you can use this one as polygon sorry uh, low poly but uh, still you have to remove all these uh, edges we added for to make uh, make it uh, high poly okay you need to remove all these edges then you can ungroup uh, it either you can go uh, apply this and drop uv i'll show you the uv the current state it will be like this okay i'm going to select it uh, if i, I want to save it okay before if i fla press flatten mapping it will be like this i say it's better right see i'll show you the see this is one side of the uv okay uh this one is the other side if i pack it you still need to unwrap manually the all these okay or you can just select with all this pack it first uh, then if I... okay hold on uh, let's pack this now if i check this rescale clusters can still uh pack it But I'll say you have to um, unwrap manually, except these. These are better. We don't need to unwrap it, okay? But we need to unwrap all these manually. See all these seams in between them. Okay. Like this. Okay, that's so how we on the more we can uh, play this UVW map if you want to. Okay, this is just the basics, basic way to unwrap UV. <laughs> Okay, anyway, that is our sniper. Okay, I'm going to save this one and uh, I will upload to Google Drive so you guys can download. Okay, hold on. How to know? Next time you could show us the vertex paint. Okay, bro, I will try. I will upload it. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you are new here. And also you guys can suggest or uh, suggest uh, next topic for our next tutorial also
okay i have uploaded the reference file and the uh, project file okay i'll share you the link Yes, here is a link. Okay, M4 Lewis. Then. Okay, okay. Can you make an uh, update video to update? Uh, what is that? Okay, so I will give you the folder link. Okay, that will be better. Uh, save. Peeling done. Guys, okay, so here is the uh, drive link. Okay, you guys can download the file if you want. I will pin the message. Can you make a video? Sorry, can you make an update with uh, make a whole body kit for a car or the front bumper? Okay, but I will try M4. Okay, Louis can download the files, okay, or and if you have any doubts, just ask in comment. File is in the chat section. Okay, you can download if you want. If you want to ask something, you can ask. We can discuss about it. So we can in the stream. Great, sorry, okay, Jenko. Thanks for the description, bro. Thanks for joining the stream, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, I have a hard time understanding it. Flow, okay, Deepan Shu. Thanks for joining the stream, bro. I have a hard time understanding it. Flow, okay, bro. You can either uh, use an extra edge to hold, or you can just. Time for it, okay. Or it will. If you're uh, making low polys, you can just uh, time for it with the zero segments. So guys, uh, that's it for today. What happens if we have encoders? Okay, I think I already told you. Uh, bro, I think you can remove it. You should remove it. Uh, if you anima animate something, animate a model with uh, encoders. Uh, 
it will it won't look good i will show you will say, say an example if you are working on a company and you are a modeler and you have to you model something i mean model a character with the ingons and pass it to the animation department uh, then they will um, have a hard time to animate i mean the animation won't look good okay the body part uh, will get stretched or something because it will be in going to serve with uh, more than four edges okay guys uh, i think that's it for today everyone thanks for joining the stream and we will see you next time okay one more question can you do a live stream of modeling a vehicle from blueprints okay bro okay i will sure sure do it thanks for the session bro Man, subscribe to it. Okay, we will even show uh, model a vehicle, but I'm not sure if we can complete the vehicle in three hours. Bro, it will. Yeah, we actually need maybe one day or something. Then we can do it in three hours. If you want, you can check the other videos in our channel of vehicles. Okay. Anyway, we'll, I, I will try to model uh, vehicle, okay? Live. I'm not sure about it. Okay guys, uh, I think that's it. Uh, okay, thanks for all the events. I think that's it for today. Everyone, thanks for joining the stream. Uh, hope you have learned something from today's stream. And uh, we will see you next time. No one, thanks for, thanks for Okay, guys, um, we will see you at not tomorrow. Okay, have a good day, everyone. See you guys. Bye bye. No one, thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining the stream. Bye, guys. Take care.